because Goodwill ain't slipping no more. Goodwill ain't been slipping for a long time, and these cats been lying to y'all. Goodwill ain't been slipping for Goodwill ain't been slipping since 2016. Dudes have been taking off price tags, taking price tags off for of items, going up there to the front desk, getting these old ass ladies who don't know nothing about nothing to to mark it down so they can walk out Goodwill with with valuable junk, and and they treating it like it's worthless junk. Because the people at the cash register, they don't know what the hell they just priced down. Oh, I got this game. I got this very rare uh, PlayStation 2 game. But, you know, all the DVDs are $3. So uh, this, this don't got no price tag on it. So, you know, just go ahead and put $3 on it. And, uh, you know, we go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The DVD is $3. And then they, they walk out. And before they even get to the car, they stupid ass. Pulling out their phone. Oh, I just caught I just caught Goodwill slipping for three dollars. They just sold me this hundred and fifty dollar game for three dollars. And and y'all acting like people who work at Goodwill don't watch YouTube. So now they got a policy for your ass. See, <laughs> they got a policy for your dog ass. And now y'all just y'all y'all just effectively ruined all rare games being picked up by YouTube. Congratulations, congratulations. And no way am I saying that they made this policy specifically for Mr. Whiteway and Phoenix Resale. But I'm down, so I'm calling it the Mr. Whiteway and Phoenix Resale policy because they the most famous people. They known for making all these videos about catching motherfucking slipping, especially Mr. Whiteway. Phoenix Resale, y'all already know he going to get the best deal possible out of everything. I'm not saying they were doing this. I'm not saying they were doing this, but I am saying, you know, these guys have influenced a lot of people to try to go out and get the best deal possible on everything that they can find. And a lot of people have been using shady tactics. And this is one of those shady tactics that Goodwill just put an end to. So now you can't go to Goodwill and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, this thing don't got no price tag on it because the, the old lady just going to say, OK, well, this is the policy. I can't put a price. Oh, but everything right there say $5. I, I understand that, sir. But since this one don't have a, a, a ticket on it, I have to follow the policy. And the policy is I got to put this thing back in the inventory. And you can come back tomorrow or whenever we put it back out and get it. But I have to follow the company's policy. Oh, but this five. I, I understand, sir. But I got to follow the policy. So now that looks, that, that's gone. That's gone. Maybe y'all gonna have to come up with fake stickers. Maybe y'all just gonna have to follow the, the whatever goodwill y'all work at. Go home, man, whatever goodwill y'all shop at. Go home and get y'all a goodwill sticker print machine <laughs> and print out your own stickers and then swap them out while you're in the store. <laughs> and maybe that'll maybe that'll work. Maybe you can catch a slipper. <laughs> maybe you can catch the ass slipper like that. But that that old ain't no ain't no ain't no ain't no price tag on it. That shit ain't not. That ain't working on. So before we get into it, let's have a quick word from our sponsors, which is me. I sponsor my own video. Take ten seconds out your time, and we're gonna get into these games. Let's go. All right. So you know what's going on, Free Game Nation. Now, the book of Trickology was supposed to be released on Tuesday for the free ebook, but we had a little mishap. You know, with the person who was supposed to set all that up for me. Uh, the book is going to be released this Saturday. So in three days, the book of Trickology is going to be available for free ebook download. So if you go on uh, Tuesday looking to get the book of the tricking, uh, they're going to try to charge you $10 for that book. But the book of the womanizing will be available for free on Tuesday. The book of Symbology still available for free on Monday. And then, you know, the book of Macology would be available on Wednesday instead of Thursday and instead of Friday. Uh, but on Thursday, you'll get the book of the horrorism. So I apologize for any confusion that may cause, but this is your last opportunity to get these books for free. For me, I will no longer be giving these books out. So, hey, man, take advantage and get them while you can. This is the last free offering that I am giving to the people.
All right, so you know what's going on there by the YouTube land. I got to walk y'all back to the game room. I am Professor Joe Casey, and today we're going to talk about... <laughs> we go, hold on. Let me let me get my face straight. Because uh, it's looking like, man, it, it's going it's to get real tight for the resellers, man. It's getting bad out here, man. You know, Goodwill, they done came up with a, a Phoenix resale slash Mr. Whiteway policy. <laughs> It's getting real bad out here, man. You know, because we we, we we going accustomed to watching these popular videos over time about how a lot of guys, not just Phoenix Resale and Mr. Rightway, but Mr. Rightway, he, he very popular for this. And I think these guys, you know, uh, is messing up their own hustles, man, making all these videos about how they keep catching Goodwill slipping. And uh, I think Goodwill done finally figured out their hustle, man. Good world done finally figured out the scam, man. And I'm not accusing Mr. Whitewell of Phoenix Resale of scamming Goodwill, but I do think they heavily influenced this policy that Goodwill came out with. See, uh, these, I believe a lot of guys will take the tags off of certain stickers. Then, you know, they'll go up to the old lady that's working at Goodwill. You know, a whole lot of old people be volunteering and stuff like that. People who work at Goodwill don't really be giving a damn about, you know, what that stuff sell for. They'll take the price up. They'll take the price tag off. Then they'll walk up to these people and say, hey, man, how much this uh, old piece of crap is? She'd be like, I don't know. Be like, yeah, it's just a worthless thing. Let's let's just say, let's just say $5. You say, okay, yeah, it's a CD, $5. And the, the price tag on it was probably $49.99. The price tag on it was probably $39.99. But they know the person who's working at Goodwill ain't no expert on, on, on this type of stuff. Because if the person who was working at Goodwill was an expert, guess what would have happened? They would have bought the game personally. Or they would have sucked somebody else in personally to come get the game as soon as the game got put on shelves. If the person who worked at Goodwill was an expert they wouldn't leave it on the shelf for a reseller to come scoop it up and you know throw it on ebay for exuberant prices so that's why they was taking the tags off the stuff man this how they was catching goodwill slipping so goodwill said okay we tired of you know googling our names on on youtube and we seeing all these people making these i caught goodwill slipping videos so this is what we're gonna do Anytime somebody brings something up to one of these old ladies that's working at Goodwill, we just going to train them and inform them on our new policy. You cannot price nothing. Somebody brings something over without a price tag. This on all the Goodwills now. This this going nationwide. We can't sell this item today because one of our employees slipped up and they put it out without no price tag. We will randomly replace this item tomorrow. And if you get lucky enough to catch it tomorrow, then you can buy it. So that literally screws the resellers out of a sale. A lot of resellers are going to be pissed. They're going to be pissed because th I'm telling you, this was one of their main tactics, man. Taking the damn sticker price off and then walking up and asking the people the, the, the price of that. at the I mean, why the hell is uh, Goodwill making this a policy if this wasn't uh, something that, that was going on crazy? If this wasn't a mega problem for their corporation, why would why would this even have to be news? Why would this have to be a policy? If this wasn't a major uh, trick of the trade, this is what they were doing, bro. This is what they were doing, and I, I love watching these reseller videos. This is one of the guilty pleasure of mine because I love how these guys be loving to talk about how they not out here to hustle nobody, how they not out here to hassle nobody, and you constantly see them finagling and snaking people in the videos because <laughs> well somebody might be listening to say hey professor your case didn't you sell a shit ton of uh, xbox 360 games when it was um when it was um going crazy yeah man i sold over 150 xbox games bro i liquidated the hell out of that collection i'm trying to get a uh I'm trying to get an RV, so that's that's need to hear now. That, that's my own personal shit. I'm not out here making no videos like I'm not trying to get the most I can get out of this thing. And I'm not out here buying games from people. I don't buy games from people. I don't buy games from people. I buy games from GameStop. I buy games from game stores. People who know what they're doing. People who know what they're selling. I'm not out here trying to uh, finagle people out of what they got. I don't go to Goodwills. I... I, I never believed in going to Goodwills to collect games. I go to Goodwills to collect books. 
Because I don't think I'm robbing no five-year-old child out of uh, reading the book. You know what I mean? And the type of books I, I type of books I get from Goodwill, children don't play those. I mean, children don't read those books. You look at my library; it's a whole bunch of adult books and the kiddie books I got. They're for my children. Once again, when I was five years old going to Goodwill, I wasn't going for no damn books. When I was five through twelve years old doing my Goodwill days, I was going for video games. And I thank God, want no resellers to scooping up all the damn games when I was a child, and I was able to get a whole bunch of games for a dollar that I couldn't rent from Blockbuster. I think resellers and 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 just you know and video games going popular now youtube and resellers really messed up gaming for this this uh future generation because now if these kids parents can't afford a new system and an expensive ass subscription this is the only problem i got with game pass now, i don't have no problem paying the 20 dollars for a game pass subscription people think I, I i i'm tripping out the prices when i go off on xbox for raising up the prices and charging people for playing multiplayer people think i'm tripping on the game pad prices Did, have you guys seen my collection i don't give a damn about paying no 20 dollars a month for no subscription i'm thinking about that little five-year-old child who mama can't afford that every month who mama already you know uh fighting just to put gas in the car and put food on the table that child should be able to go to a goodwill find them an xbox 360 game for a dollar and had a time in their life that child should be able to go to a goodwill find a playstation 3 and and ride out on it for a dollar that child should be able to go to a goodwill right now with five dollars in their pocket get them a, a, a playstation 3 and five to six games bro because that's how it was when i was growing up i can go to a goodwill with ten dollars in my pocket get me a nintendo and eight games I can go to Goodwill with $20, get me a Super Nintendo and four games. But because of YouTube, so because of YouTube and resellers, that's impossible to do now, man. Because of YouTube and resellers, that's impossible to do now. But, you know, uh, I'm not mad at Goodwill for their new policy. I'm not mad at Goodwill for their new policy. And, and if, I was good, if I was Goodwill, this is what I would do. If I was good with this, is what I would do, I wouldn't sell nothing video game related to anybody who uh, ID was 20 miles or more outside of the jurisdiction. You can buy anything else in the store other than video games. You can buy anything. Matter of fact, if I was good with, I would go further than that. If I was good with, I would make all my video game systems low income only. You have to be on a low income program. To get those video games, if I was Goodwill, oh yeah, man, them kids they ain't gonna they ain't gonna appreciate them games. They just gonna tell them up. They gonna fuck them up. Who cares, man? It's for the it's for the, the less fortunate. It's for the less fortunate. That's what I would do if I was Goodwill, man. If I was the, the president of Goodwill, hey man, nah, man, these games are for less fortunate people. This ain't for you mega rich ass YouTubers like Phoenix Resale to do do a video talking about how he sold three million dollars worth of games from his basement. This is not for Mr. Right Way to make video talking about how he caught Goodwill slipping and he driving all over the goddamn country buying tons and tons of games from little kids who who, who ain't gonna be able to get them because him and people like him just scoping all this shit up. If I was Goodwill, I would be a refuge for little children who don't have shit. You got to be on low-income housing. You got to be on low-income program to come buy games from Goodwill because this is who we sell this shit for. You can buy everything else. Now, you catch a slipping on DVDs, you catch them. But if you ain't low-income, you cannot come get these goddamn video games because everybody's parents can't afford xbox game pass everybody parents can't even afford a new goddamn xbox uh, one you can't even you can't even play xbox game pass on the xbox one no more they xbox is bricking i think they purposefully doing this they bricking the old school xbox one so if you don't got an xbox one s or one x man your shit getting bricked on the update i think they perfect because they want everybody to get rid of them old ass xboxes and they want you to buy the new shit they want you to get rid of your old Xboxes and they want you to upgrade your system. I uh, move to a damn Amazon Prime stick and play the shit on. <laughs> Cause that's how these corporations do, man. That's how they do, man. That's how they do, man. I guarantee you they don't partner with Amazon Prime. So everybody who get one of them fire sticks and they download that Xbox One app, 
on that Amazon Prime stick, I guarantee you Microsoft get a get a get a cut a piece of that. I guarantee you they get a piece of that. They ain't just putting their shit Game Pass on shit for the sake of putting Game Pass. Yeah, they want the subscriptions, but I guarantee you Microsoft getting a piece of that too. So it go back to why the why for me this is why I got no problem with it. This shit for low income people, man. For children who can't afford this stuff, man. For children who can't afford this stuff, not for a whole bunch of goofies to make I caught Goodwill slipping videos. So now you can't take them price tags off them damn things no more. Cause them people they're gonna tell you, hey, I'm sorry uh that you find it like this. Cause then what the old ladies gonna say, they they still ain't gonna know the prices to <laughs> they still ain't you can still bring ruler rose. Up there talking about, hey man, this is a two dollar game. They gonna say, okay, I, yeah, I know it's a two dollar game, sir. But policy states that you know we have to put it back in the inventory, so whoever messed up and didn't price it have to reprice it, and then we'll put it out tomorrow. I don't know what time we'll put it out tomorrow, but hey, you can wait your ass here all day long tomorrow and see if you can catch us putting it out. But guess, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen when it when it, when they reprice it? That's what's gonna happen when you give it back to that old lady, cause you gotta follow that policy, and and you, you, you your little ticket, uh, you, your little trick of uh, taking the price tag off, so she don't know what the hell to charge it for, so she can recharge it at the front desk. Guess what's gonna happen when you do that? When the person come back and he recharge it, and he re, he and, and they we um put it back in the inventory, they gonna see how valuable that shit is. They either gonna throw it on eBay, or they gonna buy it themselves. This is this is effectively taking all valuable games out of goodwill this is what this this mr right way phoenix resale policy is what's going to take all valuable blu-rays you don't even waste your time going to goodwill for blu-rays and video games no more bro don't even waste your time this this finna effectively take all that valuable shit out of goodwill because they they price chart that shit when they bring it in or not anyway because they know how valuable that stuff is goodwill ain't slipping no more goodwill ain't been slipping for a long time and these cats been lying to y'all Goodwill ain't been slipping for Goodwill ain't been slipping since 2016. Dudes have been taking off price tags, taking price tags off of items, going up there to the front desk, getting these old ass ladies who don't know nothing about nothing to to mark it down so they can walk out Goodwill with with valuable junk and and they treating it like it's worthless junk because the people at the cash register they don't know what the hell they just priced down. Oh, I got this game. I got this very whereas uh, PlayStation 2 game. But, you know, all the DVDs are $3. So uh, this, this don't got no price tag on it. So, you know, just go ahead and put $3 on it. And, uh, you know, we go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's $3, DVD is $3. And then they, they walk out. And before they even get to the car, they stupid ass pulling out their phone. Oh, I just called call Goodwill slipping for $3. They just sold me this $150 game for $3. And, and y'all acting like people who work at Goodwill don't watch YouTube. So now they got a policy for your ass, see? <laughs> they got a policy for your dog ass. And now y'all just y'all y'all just effectively ruined all rare games being picked up by YouTube. Congratulations. Congratulations. And no way am I saying that they made this policy specifically for Mr. White Way and Phoenix Resale. But I'm down, so I'm calling it the Mr. White Way and Phoenix Resale policy. Cause they the most famous people. They known for making all these videos about catching motherfucking slipping. Especially Mr. Whiteway. Phoenix Resale, y'all already know he gonna get the best deal possible out of everything. I'm not saying they were doing this. I'm not saying they were doing this. But I am saying, you know, these guys have influenced a lot of people to try to go out and get the best deal possible on everything that they can find. And a lot of people have been using shady tactics. And this is one of those shady tactics that Goodwill just put an end to. So now you can't go to Goodwill and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, this thing don't got no price tag on it. Because they, the, the old lady just going to say, okay, well, this is the policy. I can't put a price. Oh, but everything back there say $5. I, I understand that, sir. But since this one don't have a, a, a ticket on it, I have to follow the policy. And the policy is, I got to put this thing back in the inventory. And you can come back tomorrow or whenever we put it back out and get it. But I have to follow the company's policy. Oh, but this fine. 
I understand, sir, but I gotta follow the policy. So now nah, that looks that, that's gone. That's gone. Maybe y'all gonna have to come up with fake stickers. Maybe y'all just gonna have to follow the, the whatever goodwill y'all work at. Go home, man. Whatever goodwill y'all shop at, go home and get y'all a goodwill sticker print machine. <laughs> And print out your own stickers and then swap them out while you're in the store. <laughs> and maybe that'll maybe that'll work. Maybe you can catch a slipping. Maybe you can catch the ass slipping like that. But that that old ain't no ain't no ain't no ain't no price tag on it. That shit ain't not. That ain't working no more. And we all done did it. I mean, we all ain't do it like maliciously taking the stickers out because I don't I don't bought stuff up the goodwill. I don't bought like rocking chairs and stuff up there and asked them what the price was and then you know somebody come back here and be oh it's a rocking chair because I, 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 I see look cool like furniture. I never seen no video games on sale like goodwill bro. I never seen no good video games that sell them goodwill. At least not in the last eight years. Goodwill been pricing like forty dollar, thirty dollar stuff. I've been seeing that goodwill forty, thirty dollars. I've been getting nice furniture from Goodwill. I've been getting nice. And when I say furniture, I'm not talking about furniture for the house. I'm talking about like like just crazy pieces of furniture, like rocking chairs and, you know, cool stuff like that, like school desk, cool stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, believe it or not, school desks are expensive as hell. Go on YouTube and see how much a school desk going to run you. School desks are very expensive. That's when I look for school desks when I go to um, Goodwill's. I look for CRTs. When I go to Goodwill's uh, and I look for books, I know most of these resellers, they ain't looking to, to, to pick up no damn books. Books are hard to sell. See, I, I always take the word, I take the word, at least let's travel. See, when, when I was building my game collection, everybody was doing garage sales and, and, and flea markets and all that stuff. Though. I didn't want the competition. I just did game stop four for 20s. When I said, okay, bam, I got to come up with a, a a side hustle so I can try to, you know, uh, get myself some financial freedom and get out the rat race, uh, you know, trying to work a nine to five every day. I said, okay, let me sell books. Let me let me become a book author. Because I know it ain't that much competition on YouTube for book authors. Not too many people got the patience or the brain power to sit down and write a damn book. I'm always go, everybody going right, I'm going to go left. Everybody go right, I'm going to go left. So now, I wonder what all these people who do these Goodwill slipping videos, like, yeah, that, that, little, that, little, that little hustle, that thing gone, man. Them boys, they done, they done revealed that policy on their ass. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all be cool on your stool, understanding they're kicking with two peas in the pot. They ain't cooking in the stove, ain't hot. I'm going to go case.